Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and this is my early birthday present. My birthday is the 9th of April and I asked uh, my husband and the rest of my family, usually I just get money and I can spend it whatever way I like, which is absolutely wonderful. So the money from everybody together is um, affording this beautiful machine. Yay! It's the Gemini electric die cutter. I think that's what you call it. <laughs> and I was already, I do have a big shot which I've been uh, using for the last one and a half years. I got it second hand and uh, find a Dutch kind of eBay called Markplatz and I've really enjoyed it. I will still use it for the big Bix dies because the Bix dies, if you're familiar with those, they're quite thick and they will not go through the Gemini. So I will still use the hand cranking Big Shot machine for that. So that's still not a waste of space. And this one is really nice because there are some dies in it already, which I will show you, but this company that I ordered it with here uh, in the Netherlands I am, if you're interested and you're in the Netherlands, send me an email and uh, ask me um, if you want to get this where I got it from because they have a special offer and you get 39 euros worth of extra die cuts. Now, not I have not seen that offer anywhere else apart with this company, so that's why I went for this one. And, oh, this is even an extra one that I didn't know I would get. So, I got more. So, this one is from Nelly's Multiframe. Oh, I think this is a nice one. It cuts out like there and you can kind of fold it over. Which, or maybe even put a ribbon through it or something. I don't know. But I'll have fun with that. Then, it's this one. Die cutting and embossing stencil so this is a stencil okay that will be lovely to make some nice frames the original price here is 16.95 euros now again if you're um in the us think a little bit more about 10 percent more and if you're in the uk think about 10 percent less of the euro price then i got this one extra a little branch which is nice and this one oh it's a snowman that's really cute now to be honest I did think the picture that I saw with the extra die cuts that I would get were not these ones so they were very pretty ah they're in here yes so these are even extra still which is really nice that's really sweet. These were $13.95. Apparently they've been on sale. So these are just some extra ones apparently that the shop just wants to get rid of. Well, I'm happy to get any freebies. So <laughs> that's really good. But this one, I'll turn it around. This is the set I was hoping for. So it's, it's in this box. Okay. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the shaking. Let me get this out because these are very very pretty and there's probably some sellotape on it oh no there is not okay well that's good so there's a handle on the box as well and there should be six mats in here that you get with it sorry for the glare let me get those out first so it's a clear cutting plate and another clear cutting plate so there's two of those you should use one on the bottom and one of the top on the top of your sandwich rubber embossing mat a metal cutting plate which is like an extra layer if you need it it's stuck together I think it is oh <laughs> it's stuck together because this is the magnetic shim and the magnetic shim was stuck to the metal plate the magnetic shim, which will keep your dies in place, or so they say, and a plastic shim. Now, to be honest, I've seen a lot of videos on these and on what kind of sandwiches to make and how enormously 
um, these plates, especially this one, can warp. Now they do say with the Gemini that you have all the plates that you're using, especially the these, the clear cutting plates, this one, the top and the bottom one, as well as the plastic shin. Whenever you use it for every use, you have to flip it over and rotate it for every use. And they say that then they don't warp or hardly, they hardly warp. Now I've just seen quite a few uh, people who have or ladies who have this machine and they still struggle with the warping and some of them have come up with a different sandwich uh, in which they don't use this shim anymore because it warps very much and therefore uh, it, the machine won't cut as well as it should and they have replaced it with like a normal cutting mat like a very cheap one like a self-healing mat that you can very cheaply buy uh, basically anywhere and everywhere so I think I may as well try that I've also seen videos and maybe if I can find them I'll link them below this video I've seen them like use this on the top and the bottom but not let the die cut in your paper and then straight into this so I've seen them use like um, a different order of these mats so that these stay absolutely brand new however often you use it and I'm very interested in doing that so uh, apparently when you use different pla um, how do you say plates or mats that don't belong to this machine it's probably the warranty that they say you can't use anymore because you've used the machine in a way it's not designed to be used so that's the only thing to keep in mind when you do that but i've seen great results keeping those plates straight as well as clear so i'm very interested in doing that so oh that's great there's like i live in the netherlands this is why well, i shouldn't take it out this is for the uk if i ever Moved to the UK. Well, I did live in the UK for eight years, a long time ago. I don't plan on moving there unless my daughters, who are half English, move there. Then I may consider moving back there. So then I could use that. That's a UK plug. This is the European plug. So that's great. And here are the extra dice that I was looking for. Yay! This is a 3D Um how do you call it? Embossing folder. It's on there, right? <laughs> embossing folder. Now the 3D means the embossing folder. I hope there's not too much glare there. The 3D embossing folder. Uh, of course, the other embossing folders are already 3D, but the 3D ones are even more 3D. So you get a very, very sharp and very 3D, uh, how do you say, image on your cardstock whenever you use this. Haven't used one yet, but this is very pretty, very lacy. So that's great to have. Hi, okay, I don't know what happened there, but my video got cut off somehow, so I already unboxed it. I did make another video, but it recorded it kind of sideways. So I thought I'd do this part again and have it filmed the correct way up. So let me... Um, so that's why it's already out of the box suddenly now. So this is where I left off in the, in the previous part of this video. This is a very pretty die cut, but it's extra deep. That's what it says here as well. 1.5 millimeters deep. So it will go through thicker materials like leather, maybe even cork and things like that. So that will be nice to use. Then there's this very pretty die cut in there. Now, Maybe if you have seen these being unboxed already in other videos, you will notice that there were different die cuts in there. Now they say this is uh, the renewed version, which um, I hope it is, not just because of the die cuts, but maybe also the machine itself has been updated. I have no idea, but at least there's all the dies in here. This is a three part die, and I love this one. It's very pretty. This is one part, this is the other part, and that's the third part. So you can make this like this, 
use it as one but you can also use this part of the circle twice on this side and on that side to make a very circular frame for a picture or a message so this is very pretty it's called floral frame from Gemini then there's this one all oh, these in here it says love a butterfly here it says thanks upside down there you go so that's these which are very pretty as well and I'm very happy with this one as well it kind of cuts out on this side so for the edge of your paper and here it cuts actually into your paper and the same with this lacy one so these are very pretty I really like these dies that come with it and then of course there is an instruction manual in there probably in different languages yeah in english in french uh this is i think this is spanish profundidad troqueles para múltiples medios that sounds spanish doesn't it <laughs> and in german so there's all sorts of languages in here and in dutch even in dutch well that's great now isn't it so that's with it now i got my scales because that thing is heavy so anyway there is on this side as well on this side there are like handles so you can um lift it up quite easily even though it's heavy let me just put my i think my scale suit should go on there you can see it right there 6.8 kilograms now that's a lot almost seven kilograms and i looked it up and now I forgot what it was in pounds. I have no idea. It's over a hundred pounds. Is that no? That's not true. I don't know. There's about two pounds to one kilos. So not a hundred pounds, over ten pounds. So it's almost like fourteen pounds. Over fourteen pounds. So um there you go. It's heavy. You don't want to move this every day. Now what does it look like? I already showed you the sides with the handles. This is the starter button. Here you uh, push it so that it goes through. And the nice thing about this one, compared to other die cutting, electric die cutting machines, is here, when you have your whole sandwich together, you push it through and once you switch it on, it will take the sandwich by itself you will not need to keep the button and keep it pushed in like on other machines so that's one of the reasons why i got this one i like things easy and smooth and then there's also like on this button the pause button if you think it needs to go through again you pause it and with this one you reverse it and it will go through again in the reverse way now on the back here this is where you plug it in and this is like the on and off button very easily. Now I won't show how it actually is working in this very video because it will be too long. This is just the un unboxing of it. And here on the box, it is specially, it's an automatic electric motor, edge to edge functionality, and parallel fine detail. I've heard this one is very, very good with those intricate dies like this one and that it gets all the fine detail out pretty much in one go cuts multiple layers in one pass um, cuts a variety of materials paper fabric felt leather and much more there you go adhesive foam there's all sorts of materials on here cork that it will cut glitter paper lots to craft with compatible with most types of thin metal dies so not again not the, the thick dies the like the big dies that will not go through here you still need another machine for those now here you can read all that's in there and this is how big it is nine and a half by twelve and a half inches 22.86 centimeters by 31.75 centimeters so this is the larger one this is not the junior this is the larger one it's like an a4 size and i think also the standard american sized uh, paper uh, or letter paper will go through this machine so um i think 
that's all that I wanted to show you or say about it right now. I'll have a play with it. I'll probably use the other sandwich um, that I'll link below some videos to that to try to keep my plates nice and clean and see how that end not warped preferably so that it will keep functioning uh, very well. So, okay, thank you for watching and see you again. Bye bye.